Hello, everyone. You actually can see me. <laughs> Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor with Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're over here at the brand new community by Pulte Homes called Monument over here in Reverence Village, right off of the 215 and Lake Mead. And they just opened up last weekend. So we thought, hey, we didn't want to do it right when they opened up because when it's always busy, and then we were gonna do it sometime this week. However, of course, it was super windy. So we thought today's Saturday. It's gorgeous out, nice and sunny. So let's do a model home tour, right? Yeah, great, great idea. So we're gonna flip it over, folks. Okay, so now we're taking a tour of the models. They only have three floor plans available and they have them in 14 to 16 plexes, right? They just opened up, as we mentioned, last Saturday and the first four plex, all of them have reservations on it, on them. So that's kind of interesting. So we're gonna take a tour of the corn wall, which is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage at 1736 square feet. However, this is modeled with dual suites. And also this is the only floor plan where you can have a rooftop deck. So that's also a fun feature, right? Mm -hmm. um, especially in this part of Summerlin, rooftop decks are very popular. And these ceilings feel like they're nine foot ceilings. Actually, I like this floor plan. It's a little slightly bigger than the last. And I really like that they did the bench seating. Uh, can you open that door right there? Coat so closet. coat closet and they looks like they did the luxury vinyl flooring which is our favorite so durable um that looks like a wallpaper, wallpaper. yeah fake wallpaper i always like how they design these right so real quick this is um they're gonna have a community pool and a picnic area it's also gated the monthly hoa for monument is 125 and for summerlin west it's 60 dollars the SIDs are roughly around 5,000 total. Um, I don't have offhand how much it is yearly, but it's not much of a balance. When we spoke with the sales rep here, she said that they are going to be spec heavy in this community, meaning that most of the homes are going to be specced out with all the design options and upgrades already selected for you. Um, she did say that the first move in ready homes will be available in June. And this is the first time that Pulte has ever done in the last decade townhomes. So that's kind of interesting. They're going to have, as I mentioned, four plexes and 16 plexes. So this is the half bath downstairs. Feels very modern chic. Yeah, with the, they did like a, I would say this is like a dark brown undertone or a black cabinet. Um, definitely different. I really like that they did the microwave and the oven right here, as well as having a cooktop and the vent hood. And they went with the quartz countertops completely as the backsplash. And I always say to my clients, if you want a deal, I always believe that buying a spec home is the way to go because when you build from ground up and you start selecting all those options, you can get yourself into trouble for every little thing that you want. And for the most part, these spec homes are fully upgraded, very nice design options, and they pick things that people want to have, right? Like the extra can lighting, the pendant lighting, as well as um, pre-wire for ceiling fans in most of the bedrooms, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you buy new construction, refrigerators and washer and dryers do not come with the home, just FYI. Since this is going to be total Specked out homes, again, I'm not gonna go over what comes with the house, but I like that they did the bench seating. I always wanna do something like that. And then each of these houses will have a courtyard right here in the front, as well as a balcony upstairs. And this floor plan in particular has the rooftop deck, which we're gonna take a peek at. I suggest if you ever do carpet on the stairs, don't go this light color because I can already see stains and they've only been open for a week. <laughs> so this one is modeled with, oh, I like that cabinet, with the dual suites, meaning there's two types of masters. So as you walk up, you have a bedroom here and then the bedroom's right there. We're going to go right here first, which is the main 
Mm. I don't know if this is the main primary or not. Oh, does this have a dual suite? Yeah, this is, it's modeled as dual suites or you can get them as three bedrooms. They did the tan honeycomb tile. And they also modeled this with the builder grade. This is called Petrofina, or it's like a form of quartz, right? With the double vanity, the same cabinets as the kitchen, and as well as the built-in Petrofina, the same material. I think like this black trim is an upgrade option. I like the bench. And this closet, Seems like a very decent sized closet as well. And then you have your toilet area. The throne room. The throne room. I like the black paint. Black and white, can't go wrong. I like this unit right here, babe. Me too. Then here's the laundry room. They also kept the honeycomb theme with the black honeycomb. And again, the washer and dryer is not included as well as this smart panel is inside the laundry room. This is a nice little bonus to have this built in. This is an upgrade as well. So this has just the two bedrooms and not the three bedrooms. So, okay. So this seems bigger than the last. And this one doesn't have a balcony either. It looks like the only other vantage would be the rooftop deck. And here's the primary closet. Ooh, this one's much bigger. This is your standard, uh, how your closets are going to be. It's got a window in the closet too. Yeah, it's nice. I like that light fixture. It's bold. I, well, that's our trend right there to do those yeah. glass bulbs. And then here's the other bathroom. So they upgraded this slightly more than the other. They used the 12 by 24 tile stacked. They used the same Petrofina countertops with the double vanity, the black hardware, and they used that floor tile inside the shower. But this one, they did the flooring from the other suite, and here is the bench. They swapped it. So they made this one more customized than the other bathroom. So they swapped it. And then you have the throne room here as well. So I'm excited to go see the rooftop deck. Get my steps in today. <laughs> Better register. Aye, aye, aye. Two locks. Technical difficulties. I'm gonna have to put my shades on. Cause you're so cool. <laughs> My feature's so bright that I got to wear shades. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's put the shades on. You can see the trails on the mountain. That's my favorite mountain right there, guys. Oh. There's a little old mountain right there, too. Yeah, so this is the only floor plan that will have the rooftop deck. And so right here... Straight across is the 16 plex, you can tell. And so in the middle are the two, what is this called? What's this floor plan called? Decks? No, corn walls. Oh, corn walls yes. So on the ends are the Daltons, I do believe. Danbury, I knew it was a D. Danbury is the two end ones. And then the uh, corn wall is the middle with the rooftop deck. And then probably the ones in between is going to be the Branton. So again, there's only three floor plans. So let's see this side of the valley. You can see the strip. Yeah. It's amazing. When we were here last year, this was not, I mean. It was like a dirt. Well, there's only just the models being built and that was it. So it's amazing how fast they built it. And I don't know if you can see because it's a little hazy out, but straight ahead is the strip. So I would imagine that, you know, most of these rooftop decks will have some strip views, don't you think? Yeah, I, I can't see anything getting in the way. So the nice thing about these rooftop decks is you have some exterior lighting, I do believe, some outlets as well as these are for the rain. Um, and again, because of where it's located, we're right here next to the Kestrel Commons Village. The trend for this 
area, a part of Summerlin is either three-story homes, townhomes, homes with rooftop decks. Because of the beautiful mountain backdrop, as well as how elevated it is, so you can have city views as well, mm -hmm. right? Best of both worlds. Yes, definitely best of both worlds. Unfortunately, they haven't released the pricing just yet. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but they um, have one fourplex available and all of them are reserved without even people knowing the prices. That's how hot this is going to be. And they have, what, 168 townhomes? And they anticipate to sell within the year. Everything, right? That's what she said? That's what she said. Yeah. And the person behind us who came in, too, was asking about the pricing because he really wants to know. Yeah. People want to know, folks. All right. Let's take a look at the floor plan while we're here. And then we'll go on to the last one. So on the corn wall... It doesn't have anything different, you know, and of course you can find all of this online, right? But here is the owner suite, which was the, is that the one we looked at or no? It was at the first one. Okay. So no, that's is, the second one. one. Yep. So here's bedrooms two and three that were converted into a second owner suite, making it only a two bedroom house. But um, if you want to purchase it to summarize, it's at 1736 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Um, but if you want to convert it into a bigger bedroom, then obviously it's only two bedrooms. And then you're going to have two full baths, two and a half baths as well. Yeah, because you have the other one down here too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin. I am your new home sales expert as well as your Summerlin expert. Very true. Um, if you want to learn more about reverence in this community, you can go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. I've also posted a link down in the description below. It's most very, very important. Let us know what you think of this floor plan. Like, subscribe, and comment. Comment and call me. Oh, definitely call her. 702-370-5112. Before you even come see these models, you need your agent with you on the very first visit. Otherwise, they will not be able to represent you. Mm -hmm. The good thing is I have a good rapport with the sales reps here at Pulte. They know me very well. And if you want to wine and dine and wheel and deal, who to call? You call Angela, just like the sales rep here recognized you and says, oh, I watch all your videos. Well, no, but we also have a deal going on with oh. her at Telvona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So I do deals with uh, Pulte. Anyway, folks, see you guys on the next model tour. Peace out.